Hello everyone, I am Erika of the storytellingjubiler.com and you are watching No One Has to Be Alone, my weekly BD meeting every Friday to make sure that even if we are staying in our homes safely, then no one has to lack the company of fellow beaders. Today, I am going to teach you the little treasures tutorial. And I am broadcasting at the same time in the Storytelling Beading Club and on my Facebook page. And in case that you are watching from the Storytelling Beading Club, well, since it is a secret Facebook group, then you need to enable my broadcasting program to see your face and to see your name in order that I can say that hello, Cheryl, and hello, Teresa. Hello, Beverly, and Kata is here, and Ula, and Belinda, and Gunnel, and Maria, and Tanya, and Elena. Valika is here. Kim, then we have some fellow Facebook users. Fairly is here. Claire, Elena, Aniko, Maria. Marion and Asaria, Lisa, Janine, Monica, Manuela. So if you haven't heard your name, then it means Betty Lou is also here. Then it means that I don't see your name. So you need to click on the link that I have posted in the first comment. And Anita and Vita and Alicia are here also. What a beautiful day today, ladies. I am in a flowery mood in my new flowery vintage blues. I really started to like reused vintage uh, fabrics and going for like pre-loved pieces. And I have found this wonderful shop in Amsterdam and I ordered online and I'm super happy. And I think it goes really well with my yellow flowery earrings that we were also making together recently and you can find the tutorial on the storytelling blog and tanya is here also hello ladies before we would start with anything important i would like to say that if you have a moment then send some healing thoughts toward our fellow he, uh, fellow beader Corinna. She posted in the club recently that she has health issues and we miss her. And yeah, take a moment to comment, please, under her under her uh, post to, to so so she knows that we are thinking about her. So Corinna. We are thinking about you and miss you, and I, I wish you speedy recovery. And in the meanwhile, also Susie joined us from Florida. I'm glad you could make it, Susie. Sharon and Erica and Liv is here also. Hello, ladies. So today is the second week when we are improvising. Every month, since the beginning of this year, we have a little challenge in the Storytelling Beading Club. So in March, the challenge is to let go of our conscious choices of colors and to improvise. So last week, I challenged you to close your eyes and then pick one color for your design randomly and then try to fit the rest to go with it. And now I challenged you again. And if you want to like step up to level two of improvisation, then select two of your beads randomly with your eyes closed. And I saw that many of you did that. I also did the same. I didn't post it yet. I'm sorry. 
silencing my phone. No one ever calls me these days or messages me these days on my phone. So I sometimes forget. <laughs> so I didn't have time to post yet that uh, what were my random colors, but I'm going to show them to you today. And I didn't have time because I was doing something super important. In the meanwhile, I see, I see, I want to check on the comments. Yeah, I, I see you, Corinne, Corinne, in our thoughts. And in the meanwhile, also Tonya joined us and Monica and Mechtab is here. And of course, I will show everything when it's done. Cheryl was picking her colors with her 12 sided dice. I love your way, Cheryl. Gig girl rolling. She says, I love random picking, makes choices so much easier. Exactly, no pressure anymore. Kay is here also. And my big sister says, hello, office calling here, saying hi to all of you. Big hugs and waving towards the office. The ladies are still working on your orders and putting together also the sweet little packages for you that we are sending out this week with every order. Anna is here too. Some more Facebook users. I'm sorry, I don't see all the names. Lutka, John, Deb, and Mary too. So, well, I have an announcement to make and we have some important bidding to do. What do you want to do first? Do you want to hear my big news or shall we get to bidding? Tell me, tell me. <gasps> oh, Zuzi. Zuzi is, instead of beading, she's building a paper rocket spaceship. That sounds interesting. And Fairly is saying hi from Belgium. And Teresa says, my random colors are blue, mustard yellow, teal, purple green, galvanized silver, and lime. All different colors. We will see how they work out. You know what's funny? I was also expecting some wilder colors and like, and like very exciting colors. But like last week, I ended up with the combination of green and red. And guess what? Today, I ended up with the combination of green and red. So much about random choices. How is this happening? And in the meanwhile, I see you telling me that you want the news. Elena says, big news, of course. Sharon has a background noise, but still so nice, Sharon, that you joined us. And Cheryl also wants the news. Everyone wants the news. So, this is the beading mat of our beloved Anna Lindell after she opened the first. Preciosa crystal and pearl boxes that were delivered. It was a project that we had, well, a couple of weeks ago, but, and it was a very popular one. However, even when it finished, then we started to get messages and emails that are there no more, no more boxes? And sadly, we had to say that, no, at the moment, there are no more boxes. However, I promised you that we will come back with the Preciosa beading boxes. And also, I asked you that 
maybe would you be interested in other colors besides the ocean, the elegant, the fire, and the romantic? And indeed, you were. And that's why we decided that it is time to bring the boxes back. And today, we would like to restart the pre-ordering for the second generation of Preciosa beading boxes. And we added two new colors. We listened to you. And indeed, we added the forest box with nature, nature colors, with earthy tones. And we added a so-called maxi box with all kinds of rainbow colors. And I really appreciate the feedback that you gave us on the first generation of boxes. And I read them all. And I have to say <laughs> that we got very, very, very good reviews back. But what we thought we could, there were like some little uh, uh, suggestions for improvement and we redesigned the Preciosa beading boxes taking everything into account when we when we could because of course we were sometimes getting uh, feedback like don't include uh, drops include more drops <laughs> but we try to like make it as good as possible and I think it's going to be great so you can already, if you want, start reordering, and it's worth it because there is a, a lower price for a while. And, you know, I even counted that how much would it cost to order all the crystals and beads on their own. So I counted that the normal beading boxes, they would cost 75 euros if you ordered everything on its own, but instead they will be a lot, lot, lot lower. And the maxi box, it would cost 110, but you can save about like 30% on it. But I will not say anything else about them because you can also find many, many, many reviews on the page that I have just posted. So, I don't want to do any more talking. So, uh, if uh, someone says that her first box was not delivered yet, with the regular post, it is indeed slow because of uh, COVID complications, but boxes were arriving last week already to the United States, many of them delivered. And if you have any, any questions left, then please be in touch with uh, Yvette at orders at the storytelling .com, and she will make sure that everything will be all right. And let's start reading. So today we are going to work on the little treasure motif. And I named it little treasure because indeed it's small. It's super small. It's surprisingly small for my taste, just this much. And you need not even a handful of beads to finish it. For one motif, you will need four pieces of half tilas and four pieces of gem duos. So it's perfect for leftover beads. However, however, you can make it into a treasure by spicing it up with a rhinestone, maybe a drop at the bottom, or by adding some peyote bezel to rivolis, for example, on top at the bottom, or for example, using a special earring hook to make it make it more interesting. But yeah, you can totally like customize it to your 
to your taste. And you know what? The best thing about the little treasure is that whenever you look at it, then you will always remember this class and the company that, that you had here with fellow beaters. And let's do a quick material check to see if we have everything. So this is my beading mat today. And we will need for one motif. Half tila beads, four pieces of half tila beads. I will use this apple green ones. Then we will need four pieces of gem dual beads. I will use this matte lipstick red. And then we will need, like optionally, we need a rhinestone, a four millimeter Preciosa Sue One rhinestone. Then we need some seed beads. We need two, uh, well, it's up to you if you would like to use one or two colors of size 15 seed beads and Miyuki Delica size 11. And you can also use, if you want, a glass drop at the bottom. And Zuzi says, add cushion cup uh, cash, cash and cut connector and the drop, and it won't be that small anymore. And what a good idea, Zuzi. And or bezels will fix the size or add it to a filigree component. Filigree components also really help to make it into something special. So let's get started, ladies. Looking for my first picture. In the meanwhile, of course, if you uh, want to follow the instructions from a, print, a printable file or open the PDF on your second screen, then you can find it at the usual place. Hello, Nicoline. You can find it at the usual place of the storytellingjeweler.com slash no one has to be the long slash and i would like to say thank you to everyone who on one hand uh, ordered the tutorial or and decided to invite friends and share the news about no one has to be the long it really means a lot a lot to us ladies thank you so much and let's get started. So, as always, I'm working with my size 12 Fireline 4LB for our American friend. And I uh, use a comfortable length, not too much. And I start by picking up four pieces of half tila beads. I try to be conscious about it, to turn the tila, half tila beads in a way that the bumps are towards the top. But if you don't really see the difference, then like, as we say in Hungarian, don't break your head over it. Or we say it in Slovak, Sometimes my sometimes my head is like gets mixed up with all the languages that is like that are like <laughs> floating around. <laughs> and in the meanwhile, I want to ask first of all Nicoline that how is she? My Amsterdam friend. <laughs> And on the other hand, I see Teresa saying, Lady Zuzi will make all of this. So be on the lookout on the cloud page. Right, Zuzi? <laughs> so after I picked up my four pieces of half tila beads, then I beat through all of them, through the same holes one more time. I leave a tail of about 10 to 12 centimeters or five, six inches. And then I bead through the first half tila bead, same hole, as for a third time. And when I pull my thread, then this is how it looks like. The four half tila beads form a little cross. And 
Nicoline is fine. I'm really happy, Nicoline. And then we will add pieces one by one of Miyuki Delica 11s between the half tila beads. And while I am doing this, I would like to hear or read <laughs> that if you followed my challenge, if you are going with the improvisation challenge, and if you selected your beads randomly, and how did it feel that you are like this week, if you selected two colors randomly, then it means that you are really letting go of the control and you are really like getting into the spirit of improv improvising. And, you know, maybe it won't be like the most beautiful color combination that you put together. But please remember that we are, when we are doing these little improvisation challenges this month, by the way, when you added all the four Delica beads, then continue until you are exiting the second Delica bead that you added. So back to the meaning of this improvisation challenge. The goal this month is not to put together the most beautiful color combination you have ever put together. But the goal is to learn to teach your brain to work with what you have on hand. Very often these days it happens that we don't have everything that we would like to. There are so many bead shapes, so many bead sizes, so many different color, uh, color finishes our local bead shops are most of the times closed or very limited and we have to wait for the deliveries or simply we just don't want to or can't buy more beads and we have to make it work. And this way we are teaching our brains to like make the most of the situation. So please keep this in mind because this little exercise is really, really help in developing your skills to like using what you have and making the most of it and finding new solutions. And Tanya says, I have selected my gem duos and half tilas with my eyes closed and I like it. I like your colors too, Tanya. And I think red and blue it looks super nice together anyway. So I would even maybe select them like with open eyes. <laughs> Chloe said, I'm finally using these chalk duos I bought ages ago. That's another reason to close your eyes. <laughs> Elena says, yes, I have selected two colors randomly and received tropical mint and pale yellow. It will be something Tropicana-ish. Oh my God, Elena, I would love to have your beat. <laughs> and Cheryl says, it's comfy for me to randomly pick. So I added in having to pick the smaller beads only from those I hadn't put away or had left from kids too. They were also picked at random. Cheryl, you rock. Thank you, dear Verla. Thank you well. <laughs> Susie, that's also perfect. And we have this challenge all through March. So if you would like to try it next week, then you can also join in this fun challenge next week or with any of your pieces that you make this month. In the meanwhile, I reached the second Delica that I have added in this step. And now I will be adding pairs of Miyuki size 15 round seed beads between the Delica beads and between the outside holes, the open holes of the half tila beads. And, and what did I want to say? I just had a, I just had a big cup of coffee, but yeah, brain freeze. <sighs> 
so yeah i wanted to ask if you are happy with how my uh, second camera looks like i always want to make sure that you can see well what i am doing that it is sharp and it is clear and last week i started to use this use this really really fun camera that has a ring light around the sensor so it is um, directing light directly at my beading mat so so far i'm happy from what i see but uh, but it can be different on your screen so i would love to hear some feedback and Sherry is here and she says i have a blue and tan pick that random that sounds good and Donna is here. She overslept. That's what happens when I depend on my dog as my arm. <laughs> Kim has gunmetal and red. Oh my God, thank you so much. Thank you. By the way, this time we will deliver the boxes, I think, even faster. Or deadline is like beginning of april but actually the boxes are already like uh, the crystals are this is pre-order but the crystals are already be uh, on their way to us from preciosa so the second generation of boxes is better also from this point of view and joanna likes my second camera thanks dear joanna Sue also likes it and Beverly. Daniel, bonsoir. Unfortunately, I don't speak French. And uses AB Gem Duos that she bought by mistake. This is also a good exercise then to like use what I have. Anna also likes the ring light. Anna, if you want, I can... Uh, let's call. Let's call soon. And if you want, I can show you my camera. That's what brand and everything it is. And then fellow beader says, I closed my eyes and picked chartreuse tilas together with the backlit utopia gem duo. It will be a fun project. I like the sound of it. Carol, hello. I picked the lightest colors I have of 15s. Very pale yellow and delicate pale light peach. So I have added my size 15s and I am switching to my second set of pictures. And this is an optional step. If you would like to add a rhinestone in the middle of your motif, then please bead back to one of the Delica beads. And then you can pick up a four millimeter or SS16 Sue one rhinestone. I use Preciosas. <laughs> then bead through the Delica opposite of the one that you are exiting. You pull your thread tight and then you bead back through the rhinestone you bead through the delica that you were exiting before picking up the rhinestone and then you continue through a half tila and you continue through the next delica bead and again you attach the rhinestone through its second hole in the same way and tanya thank you so much for asking for uh, translating she says erica daniela is asking if she can use super duos instead of gem duos since she doesn't have gem duos tanya uh could you please be so good would you please be so good to tell her that she can certainly try but the super duos are 
a bit smaller than the gem was so she will have to adjust the number of the seed beads around the beads and of course it will look a little bit different as they are smaller So it will, she will need to experiment a little bit. Oh, okay, and I got a ring light. Okay, good. Anna, the one I'm using, it's like, I. okay, I will show you first. No, I don't dare to move my cameras. I wanted to show it first, but like then I started to think like I don't dare to move them. But I will show you. It's like built in and it's great. Okay, so I'm back to like rhinestones and seed beads. So after I attached the rhinestones, thank you, Tanya. You don't have to, if you said the same, you don't have to. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. So I attached the rhinestone in the middle. You can also, in this case, put something else in the middle, a teacup bead, or you can, you can use bicons. It's up to you. When you are done with this part, then bead until you are exiting a pair of number 15s and your thread is hanging towards the top of a half tila. And here you will pick up a Miyuki Delica bead. You will pick up a number 15 and another Miyuki Delica. And then you bead through the pair of number 15s on the other side of the half tila, the Miyuki Delica between the two half tila beads and another two round seed beads. Don't pull your thread in this place like too much because that would mean that your seed beads are dropping over the half tila. Keep them flat, okay? Keep them flat here. And then do the same all around that you always pick up Delica, number 15, Delica, and then you bead through the five seed beads in between the two half tila beads. And Verla, uh, I would maybe like add four little bicons, four three millimeter bicons in a cross shape, maybe meeting in a number 15 seed bead. I think, and then they would be like a little bit like a pyramid in the middle of the motif. That's something to try, I think, worth to try. And lovely ladies, does is there anyone who is using something else instead of a four millimeter rhinestone? Because please share what are you using and how is it working out? Because it can be really helpful to fellow beaters. I am adding now the last group of Delica, 15 Delica. And then I want to continue beading until I bead through the first group that I have added and the first number 15 afterward. You're very welcome, Verla. Susie is using a four millimeter fire polished. Thank you, Susie. Is it like one single piece in the middle? Can you please explain it a little bit? Thank you so much. So, and I am getting to my super nice matte lipstick red gem duos. That is my one of my favorite colors. 
And actually, I'm happy of picking that. I'm just not happy about like randomly choosing the green and the red because it's so similar to my previous color combination. But otherwise, I'm like happy with what I am working with. The only not happy part is that last week I was also, also working with red and green, but it's like, it's not something that I worry about too much. <laughs> Susie is indeed using a single piece. Thank you, Susie. And Nicolene says, I prefer the four millimeter. I tried Bicon before and it works. If you don't have anything else, but I prefer to buy some four millimeter SS16 that is much nicer. Thank you for your opinion, Nicolene. Thank you, Verla. So I am exiting the number 15 and now I pick up a gem duo I bead back through its open hole and then I bead through number 15 Delica number 15 Delica number 15 and I will do the same all around the motif that I pick up a gem duo bead I bead back through its open hole and then I cross five seed beads until I get into position to add another Jam dual bead. And Marion has a very good idea. She says, I'm using a small check flower bead for the middle. And I think Verle, I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing your name in not the correct way. I I know a little bit of Dutch. Coming back to Netherlands, but but I'm I'm I I don't feel sure about the pronunciation of your of your name. I'm sorry about it. <gasps> and I think I wanted to say that I think Verle was the one who used maybe a week or two ago a metal bead cap in the middle of of her motif and that looked also really nice. You see, we are really learning to be creative with what we have on hand. <laughs> and that's, that's great, I think. <gasps> Thank you, well, Tanya. <laughs> Ik hoef meer te praten. Het is niet meer makkelijk tijdens het lockdown. <laughs> alleen, alleen met in winkels. Niet zo veel ontmoetingen met mijn vrienden. <laughs> so, step 6 is done. I have all the gem duos in place and then I continue beading until I am exiting the first hole of a gem duo bead. Thank you, Verle. Thank you for your approval. <laughs> and then I have my last set of pictures. And in step seven, I am kind of repeating the same thread path. However, between the two holes of gem duos, I will be adding combination of two Delica beads, a number 15 
and two more Delica beads. And Joanna says, I closed my eyes to pick my gem duos and I got silver. I do not think it will look good with my other colors. So I tossed, Joanna was cheating. So I tossed them all back together again with closed dyes and I got the silver once again. I guess I am meant to try the silver. I think so, Joanna. Are you working with the silver? I hope so. <laughs> Chloe says, Erika, I have your colors today. Turquoise, yellow and gray. And you have my green and red. We seem to have swapped. <laughs> That's so funny, Chloe. Teresa, she says, I love hearing and seeing the different languages. I feel like I'm traveling a little bit. Indeed, right? When we are here together, as Tanya said, we are crossing borders. Thank you, Deb. <laughs> By the way, when the year started, then we, we were talking about it in the storytelling beading club. If anyone has like resolutions for 2021 if anyone plans to learn something new to make the most of this strange part of of our life so i want to ask are you start did you did you uh, start learning maybe something new i know that some of you started to like learn new recipes for baking. I know that Kiki started to learn Greek, for example. She's not with us today. She has this is what I'm talking about. Camera is back. Okay, sorry about that. So back to my question. Did you start to learn something new maybe? And how is it going? Nicoline, I am broadcasting at the same time in the club and on my Facebook page. And in my broadcasting program, I see all the comments from the two places, but you see only comments where you are. So if you are watching from the club, you see comments in the club. If you are watching from the page, you see only the page. And Joanna is indeed, indeed using silver. Kata is going oriental. Cheryl says, this group is why this week I have been trying to learn a bit of Czech. I have switched to Slovak yesterday though and only know a few words. To je velmi pekné, Cheryl. Možeš se so mnou cvičit? Anna, goodbye. Donna, which step are you asking your question about? Lisa, hello. Lisa says, I learned how to use a pressure cooker. I love it. What are you cooking, Lisa? Thank you, Sarah. Well, I also started to learn something new or well not new but i want to like this year improve some skills that i enjoy using and what are also like helpful in what i am doing so i started this week and the previous one i was participating in a very, very nice series of workshops. We have a meeting every day for two weeks. And I am learning how to take better pictures, but in a way that I can tell a story with my pictures. So it's like visual storytelling 
and it is a course about like specifically about Instagram, but I think that it can be used like anywhere. And the teacher, she's super nice and and I really enjoy it. So Elena, she says, I have a course on abstract art, modernism, futurism, and Dada futurism and Dadaism. Great one. That sounds really interesting, Elena. Is it in the museum? Is it in the Groningen Museum? Over the gem duo, you put two delica beads, a number 15, and two more delica beads, Donna. And if you would like to download the printable, then it is at the storytelling jeweler.com slash no one has to be the long slash. It doesn't matter, Cheryl. Keep practicing. <laughs> Chloe started to learn Korean. Volika would like to learn card weaving. Someone wants to learn Czech. And Mektab, she wanted to do bead embroidery. And she did it. She beaded the sashiko pendant, and it was beautiful. <gasps> Susie became a life coach. Congrats, Susie. Lisa is cooking. Lasagna, spaghetti, chicken pot pie. Ula, new combination is backlit blue gem duo with pale green with a red rhinestone. I'm not convinced, but I will try it. <laughs> I'm adding in the meanwhile my last group of two gem duos, then number 15 and two more. Two more delica beads, not gem duos, sorry. Verle, the patterns, they always are the free versions available for a couple of days. And then if you would like some of the older patterns, then they are available in the storytelling bead shop. Also, even with the new pattern, you can always make a choice if you would like the free version or if you would like to buy it and to support the broadcast, so it's up to you. Elena is learning online the, from the art analyst with uh, the own methodology on the analysis of that art. So I learn how to analyze such an abstract art. That is really interesting. <laughs> you know, I studied Okay, step eight. In step eight, we are connecting, we are adding groups of four number 15s. I am going to use the second color of number 15s. So I am going to add groups of four number 15s between the number 15 exactly between two gem duos and this new group of beads. So I, I'm exiting this number 15 here. I picked up four number 15s in the second color. And then I am beading through the beads over the gem duo. However, I am skipping the number 15 in the middle. And this way, I will make this little petal a little bit pointier. It will have a, a bit different shape than if I would be crossing through everything. You're welcome, Verle. Oh, Natalie. Hello, Natalie. She said, I just put my gem doors upside down so the rhinestone is on the back. You know what? Bead back to the middle and put a rhinestone on both sides. This way you will not have to, you will not have to frog and you will have an extra rhinestone on the back. Who cares about an extra rhinestone? 
extra rhinestones are great if you don't want to save the extra rhinestone for a future project, of course, or if it was not your last piece. And in this part, you have to be careful with your thread tension to not make the design wavy. Also, if you are using a different color finish of the seed beads, then you might need to adjust the number of seed beads in these groups that you are adding in step eight. You're very welcome, Natalie. I'm glad that I could help. And Ula says, I'm trying to write books, so I am studying writing. It's a self-study course, but interesting. How wonderful, Ula. The art of writing is like very close to my, to my heart. And I really hope that I, I will be able to read your books books one day let us know let us know Ula. you know from like when i was about 13 up until i finished university and i found beading and opened my first bead shop i wanted to be a writer I actually worked during university as a, like, well, a journalist and I was writing to literally journals and even published some pieces in anthologies. And it is such a wonderful thing to do and to like immerse yourself in the stories and collect the moods and the characters and everything. I, I really, I am really looking forward to, to read your books <laughs> in Swedish. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm always saying like, I like learning new things, but I would be so afraid of Swedish language. Like it sounds beautiful. When I was visiting you ladies for the Swedish bead along, it always seemed to me as if you were chanting or singing. And I love how it sounds, but it is very, it, it seems to be very, very hard for me. <laughs> and I think while living in the Netherlands for the sixth year, it is, it would be time to finally speak, learn to speak Dutch properly. I'm okay with like small conversations, but I should learn more. Cheryl tried, but only remembered a few words. She says, "I will go back to it." It's lovely to I, I, it's lovely to hear, as Erica says. Teresa says, "Hello, Teresa." Swedish is very lilting, good for singing, though. And in the meanwhile, I added all my beads, all my groups of size 15 seed beads in the second color around my little motif. So this is how it looks like. And I think it became Christmassy. And that's what I was telling you on uh, Wednesday when we were talking about the other design that I don't like the Christmassy look. And I think I ended up with a Christmassy look today. Maybe I can change it with a glass drop at the bottom, but it will need some experimenting. So, lovely ladies, do you maybe have any questions left? I have to say six o'clock, my photography course is starting, so I will have to say goodbye in maximum three minutes. So please tell me if you have any, any questions left. I would love to answer them about the little treasures, about the preciosa boxes that are available again, whatever comes to your mind.
And Kata says, after Dutch, the Swedish is easy. As soon as my Dutch friends approve that, okay, Erika, your Dutch is good enough, I shall move on to Swedish, I promise. So if there are no questions left, then Kirsten is here also. I didn't see your name yet. So I would like to say thank you for your time here. I really enjoy your company, spending time with you ladies. And very important, and says the US clocks change in the weekend. So ladies, make sure to recalculate the time when we are meeting. And I'm wishing you a peaceful, creative weekend and see you on Monday. Goodbye, ladies. Take care. <laughs>